Welcome back everybody to Prediction Center here at Three Sided Box. We are in Champions League. What round is this? Quarterfinals. Quarterfinals. Uh, round of 16. Round of 16, quarterfinals, whatever. Uh, we got is the two soccer experts back. Uh, this guy wasn't here for the last one, Franco. We got a demo. Uh, so what was your guys' records last uh, round? I believe I was 4-4. Four and four. Terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I went six and two because uh, Juve had to go ahead and choke and just like I predicted because I went seven and one. Uh, and if logically I picked PSG over Chelsea, if I didn't have just that you know Philadelphia Eagles biasness that I have bias, as Michael's correcting me upstairs in his head, <laughs> uh, then I would have went eight and zero. Oh. But uh, anyways, on to this week or this uh, this round. Uh, first up, Barca versus Atletico Madrid. What do you guys have? I'm big with, shock. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'm picking uh, Atletico Madrid, uh, but I mean, when I saw the draw, I thought that Atletico is like the worst possible draw for Barcelona, and I think that Atletico Madrid is the best defensive team in the Champions League, left in the Champions League, second best defensive team, only behind Juventus in the world. But like, I think Atletico Madrid is gonna have a real hard time without. I'm pretty sure they're going to be out without Godin and Jimenez, but I'm still going to pick them anyways. I am sticking with Barcelona, because like I said in every video, I'm predicting for them to win the whole thing. I do think that Atletico could give them a really tough time. They do play in the, they, they play in the same league, they know how each other, like, how each other plays, and it's, it is Champions League, so it could be a different story, but I'm, I'm going to choose Barcelona. Okay, so we got one of each. I am the tiebreaker here. Uh, I think the logical pick is Barca, although I think Atletico could give them a bit of a run for their money, maybe keep the game a little close. Uh, Suarez, Neymar, and Messi trio is just it's too dangerous. dangerous. So, yeah, old school, high school. Uh, if, Griezmann could take his chances, if Griezmann could take his chances, because uh, the way Barcelona play, they leave, they leave themselves exposed at the back. So if Griezmann could take his yeah. chances and they defend properly, there's a chance. Okay. Yeah, it, it's a, it could be a close game, but I think logically, though, we all know that Barca has the edge. and uh, they, have, they have the best attackers in the world. Yeah, plus uh, the champs. So, two Barca's and then uh, Atletico. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Let's get on to the next one. Next up, we got the, uh, I was going to say defending champs, but Bayern Munich, who recently won it, versus uh, Benfica. Who do you guys have for this one? Uh, Bayern, because they're better. More uh, better? They're more better. Uh, obviously, like Benfica has a chance. If Benfica need to study Juventus' first half of their second game, and they just need to go at Bayern Munich to have a chance. Bayern, I don't think they'll have Boateng back, but I'm still gonna pick them. They're they're way better than Benfica. I don't know. Yeah, I think I, I'm not gonna say the obvious answer is Bayern because I I think also Benfica can give Bayern a bit of a run for their money. But uh, Bayern is still like one of the toughest teams to play against in the world, so I'm gonna go with Bayern. Uh, yeah, again, another logical choice. Bayern, uh, clear-cut favorites, but Benfica do have the X factor. They have Costas Mitrovic. I will, I will say <laughs> that defensively they look pretty terrible against Juventus, especially that first half. Morata destroyed them like single-handedly. Yeah, yeah. Matroglu, in my opinion, is better than him. So He doesn't have the skill of Morata, but yes, yeah. he's good. Anyway, and then Samaris played really well too last game. He did. No, he was on the uh, the UEFA top 11 of last round. He was. He played really well for Benfica. So there's there's two X factors there. Uh, we're not qualified for the Euros and they're trying to win the Champions League. <laughs> 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 in the country they beat for the Euro 12 years ago. So. Of course, uh, full circle. Yeah, it's all everything comes back around. So, but yeah, Bayern is, you know, got the edge here. Lewandowski and Douglas Costa alone could just destroy that team. So, we'll and see what happens. Robin. Uh, no, Robin sucks. But anyways, yeah. Robin might throw himself on the floor and win a penalty. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Or might cut in and shoot them. That do the only thing that he's ever been good at. Next game. <laughs> so next up, we have the uh, Ibrahimovic tour of England uh, for his next club. <laughs> PSG is visiting Man City after uh, throttling Chelsea in the last round. What do you guys have? Well, I think he's probably going to go to Manchester United if anyone. You can see the city, but, maybe. Not. Yeah, same city, I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pick PSG. I tend to go with the better defensive team, and I think PSG is way better defensively than, than, than Man City. Man City's been playing pretty terrible in. 
in the uh, in the English league. Uh, they look bad. It's against, fault. They look bad against Ma- against uh, Man United. Was Man United? Yeah, I think it was Man United. Uh, like Pep Guardiola might not even be coaching a Champions League team next season. That's yeah. how bad they're playing right now. Yeah. So yeah, PSG for me. I'm gonna go with PSG as well. I really want Ibra to make the final and have a chance of winning that trophy. Like the one trophy he's missing, besides international trophies there. But uh, as long as there's no English teams left, I'm always happy. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think uh, PSG will take this one. Well, I think we could all say it's kind of, not shocking, but a little bit uh, abnormal to see Man City uh, go this far in Champions League. You well, they did they have... They eliminated a little bit earlier. I'm not going to say an easy run, but like, they didn't have the hardest no, run no. to get to the And now front. they're facing a, pretty much a brick wall, minus like the one brick that's missing, and that's David Luiz. But it's like big enough for a ball to fit in. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> that could be like their biggest downfall, but... Uh, yeah, PSG's easy choice here. Ibra's, you know, like I said, doing the tour of England, seeing what the, his next team's going to be. Uh, I know it's funny. They're saying that if Man City somehow makes it to the final and they're facing Bayern and they're in, like, sixth or fifth place in the Premier League, Guardiola could eliminate his team from cha- from, from playing in Champions League <laughs> oh, yeah, a year true. later. You know, so what do you do at that point? So Just throw. Yeah. Sure. Forfeit the match. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think PSG is the obvious choice for all three of us, and uh, let's hope Man City's out because I think we could all agree we hate them. Thiago so. Silva, he deserves a Champions League. Oh, him too. Yeah, I forgot about Thiago. Yeah. <laughs> Next game. Okay, so for the last one of the uh, quarterfinals, officially not the round of 16. Quick Google check. Uh, Real Madrid, champs from two years ago, facing off against uh, Wolfsburg, another uh, small team. Uh, what do you guys have? Uh, Real Madrid. I'm gonna pick Real Madrid, but uh, like obviously Real Madrid could. Real Madrid usually creates problems for themselves defensively. Yeah. Is it like a few? Was it last year or two years ago? They played Schalke and Schalke came back against them. Like some Germans against yeah, them. Yeah, something like something dumb like that could happen. But uh, Real Madrid have, like way too much firepower for uh, Wolfsburg to handle. Uh, now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think the only way Madrid will lose if they if they play themselves if they allow themselves to. Be weak and defensively, and they let Pepe on the field for too long. Well, yeah. Apparently, Ramos last week or two weeks ago got has the most red cards in Real Madrid history, and this is a team. That's I think like he has the most red cards years. in the history of players. Period. The guy is like psychotic <laughs> when he plays. But anyways, I'm choosing Real Madrid. I think it's the obvious answer. Yeah, there. That's again an easy choice. It'd be interesting uh, to see the upset, but I doubt it. You know, not not with Wolfsburg. No. If it was maybe uh, like an Atletico, it. then you could say something like a like a, a bigger, smaller team. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But Wolfsburg, I mean, they really do not belong in this final eight. They got a, they got an easy draw. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Know, yeah. Like a really easy draw. Yeah. So, so yeah, three Real three Real Madrids. Uh, so let's see what happens with that one. Uh, that's been it for Prediction Center here for Champions League quarterfinals, not round of 16. Yeah, uh, that's the last video, if you want to go check that out. <laughs> I'll put the link in the description. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you for the semis.